Good evening, Zambia. So we have a lot of information that we are going to be deciphering today because apparently Honorable Bowman Lusambo is in the mix once more. We had uh, a lot of, uh, you know, stories with regards to the pending rentals that he has with the named uh, company. And uh, there's a lot of things happening with regards to all the former PF politicians, because today alone, there has been quite a number of different arrests. You know, the police and the SEC are finally getting to maneuver and they are beginning to show us that they are indeed not as uh, toothless as we uh, as we thought, because a lot of Zambians were saying, you know, the SEC, the police, those are toothless people. But this time around, it really seems they are beginning to close in and things are starting to happen. So to all the, you know, correct, uh, to all the corrupt uh, people out there, it's really going to be a very tough season because it is indeed the new dawn. So in today's episode, we are going to be discussing Bowman Lusham, but we're also going to be referring to the CDF statement that he made on movie TV because apparently, according to his own uh, observation, his team can't really get to handle the CDF funds. And this is something that the uh, Kabushi uh, residents need to really, really scrutinize because it really affects the Kabushi, uh, you know, development and uh, the residents of uh, Kabushi, if you know what I mean. So this is what we are going to be talking about. And we are also going to be talking about the increasing rate of crime, especially Mulusaka. Did the patriotic front empower the wrong people with you know, weapons, because uh, apparently, I want to think Mulusaka, they've got guns. So where, or rather, did the PF contribute to the, or rather, are they contributing, or did they contribute to the current problem that we are beginning to face? And we recently heard, uh, you know, uh, Raymond Hamonga talk about an amnesty with regards to, uh, you know, the people who've got illegal firearms. firearms, they're going to be sort of... Uh, uh, you know, handled properly with care. So all these things we're going to be talking about in today's episode. As usual, you know, Z Corner is a community TV station. So we are going to be looking forward to your participation because your voice does really matter because this is the community television station where everybody gets to add their two cents. So if you really want to be part of this conversation, you already know the tradition. There is a link somewhere either on the post or on the title. So feel free to join this conversation so that you can add your two kwacha or rather your two ngwe to this particular conversation because it is about to get heated. So I hope uh, once again, if you know, tell me where you're watching us from and uh you know how you guys are keeping up because uh, apparently it was raining heavy we couldn't even travel like that because the weather has been a blessing especially if you are a farmer so yeah this is what we're going to be talking about i go by the name of mona and uh, we are the leading voice for the zambian youths i am your humble and gracious host so without further ado a uh, big shout out to all the people watching us right now i can see mongo watching us i can see people from chipata so before we even jump into this right let's invite our guest today uh Mr. Benson C. Siley, good evening and welcome to the program. How are you doing, sir? Hello. I'm fine. I'm fine, Muna. And how are you? I am. I'm fine. How are you? Time. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Your voice hello, is hello, loud hello, and clear. Hello. Can you I hear can me? Hear you loud. Good, good. So, uh, how's Gabaron? It's very hot. Um, you know, the problem with the Botswana weather is that uh, you have extremes of weather. You know, when it is the hot season, it is extremely hot. And when it is winter, it is extremely cold. All right. So, we are actually roasting, even in the dead of night. You know, you have to sleep without covers. Okay. If I'm Mulusaka, we're just enjoying the rain. It's been raining cats and dogs around here. 
we in the this this is uh, a semi desert this country of ours yeah <laughs> so right. we don't have right. we don't receive as, as as bountiful rain as you do in zambia lovely so mm -hmm. mr Saili, today we have uh, a number of topics to tackle and again i'm having the feedback again like um, are you watching me somewhere else because uh, i can hear myself again no i'm not um using a tablet all right okay cool let's try this one more time because the, the feedback is destroying the vibe so anyway uh we're going to be talking uh bomb and Osambo, right and i i wanted to play something right now oh the feedback is terrible yeah so let me just play something right now uh hold on uh, yeah there you go I don't know whether you can can you can you see that to bring yeah I can see I can. lovely 25 million 25.7 million at the consequences where I have no competent officers who administer that money let them uh, come up let them put everything at a district at the district uh, district level let the district commissioner uh, do the rest of uh, uh, the thing hmm. and let uh, let them continue with our 1.4 1.6 million because i try to undermine is, uh, honorable i try to undermine the the, the competence and uh, you know the potential <laughs> of uh, some of your you 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 no, I your don't I don't, have, I don't have I don't have I only yeah. have three workers have at you, my constituency office. Hmm. Have you gone the back secretary, to find out? Uh, let me tell you. That, let me yeah, tell please. you. I have the secretary. Hmm. I have uh, a security officer yeah. and an administrative officer. Three, only three. Those are the, the, the those are my workers. Hmm. Uh, the people I'm working with at the constituency office. And those they have no capacity to administer 25.7 million kwacha. Your constituency is big. Why can't you convene uh, an assembly with your, your people, my friend, to get input, my people? You know, I will and just, to identify I will just get input. I will just get it. I know my constituency. All right. So that was uh, Honorable Bowman Lusambo. Basically, in a nutshell, he was saying his team. And I don't really want to misquote him. He was saying his team ha doesn't really have uh, the capacity to handle CDF. Obviously, you know what CDF stands for, right? Community Development Funds. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this particular proclamation or rather uh, confession? <laughs> because it sounds like a confession. What do you think about this particular situation? Yeah, I think it reflects very adversely on him. Because uh, the impression that uh, comes across is that he doesn't know the act. He has been a minister. He has been in cabinet for donkey's years. But he doesn't know the act, right? Because the CDF is provided for in um, the CDF Act of 2018, right? It talks about the formation of a CDF management committee, which comprises of the MP, all right? three council representatives from financial planning and engineering departments, all right? Three councillors, a representative of the local chief, a representative of civil society, two community representatives, and a representative of the church, all right? Some of these representatives nominated by the MP itself. So how come he doesn't know that these, all, 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 all these things that, that, that are set down in the act? In the constitution, how, the, how 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 on earth doesn't he know that when he's a minister, he has been a member of parliament for a long, a long time now? How, how doesn't he know this? It boggles the mind, more It boggles the mind. Definitely, and uh, to me, it really uh, shows the type of uh, 
leaders that we were allowing as a nation during the patriotic front era and uh, Mwebantu, i always keep on referring back to the patriotic front era and their rule because this is when we had like a lot of atrocities we had uh, uh like the country literally went to the dogs so if he is proclaiming and uh, he's actually getting to confess that his team doesn't really have the capacity so how were or rather how was he able to do this previously how was he running yeah. uh-huh this is the, the, the cdf is not a new thing it has been in existence for a long time now so so how come you don't know i mean how was just as you rightfully ask how was he managing all along in right. His own right this is not a new thing it has been there all right there was previously there was an alloc the, the, the allocation was about 1.6 million a quarter. The only difference this time around is that it has been multiplied manifold. It's now 26.7 million quarter, right? That's the only difference. So where did it come from? Is it coming from the planet Mars or what? Right, right. And uh, the other thing that I also want to talk about is how are the people of Kavushi reacting to this information? Because to be honest, personally, I would be pissed off if that was my MP and he is sort of uh, making such statements because by the end of it, all right, the CDF is not ready for Bom and Lusambo and his team. It's actually for the people of Kavushi, you know. And uh, if I were a resident of Kavushi right now, I would definitely be uh, upset and I would, be, I would feel some type of way so how are the people of kavushi reacting to such proclamation and by the way he got the popular vote you know so that really means that the people of kavushi quote unquote uh instilled trust in him so these are the questions that we're supposed to be asking ourselves and we know cdf is something which is very big uh during this year and obviously the next five years because we need these funds to propel our community and societies to the next level so how do you think the people of kabushi are reacting to such proclamations by honorable bom and lusambo they must be very uh disappointed because you see this actually demonstrates a lack of confidence of the MP in the people that he represents, right? Is Bowman te telling us that there are no lawyers in Kavushi? There are no teachers. There are no nurses, doctors, engineers, and so on and so on, accountants, pastors, civil society leaders, etc., etc., who he can mobilize, all right, and incorporate into the CDF committee. Is, it, is, that, is that what he's telling us? Uh -huh. I mean, it is, it, it, it is actually a disgrace. All right, coming from a, a person of his standing in society, all right? I'm not trying to say that he's a virtuous person, all right? But he's a member of parliament, which is described as an august house, right? That is a very venerable term of reference. So how can he first display such ignorance on his own part? And how can he demean the very people that he represents in like manner? It boggles the mind. Right. And okay, L let me try to play devil's advocate as I usually do, because you know me, I'm generous like that. So <laughs> perhaps Honorable Bowman Lusamba has got a lot of things on. He's got a lot of uh, things on his plate to handle. Number one, you heard about the situation with regards to the the house in uh, Ndola, a named house, which apparently, according to the information speculating or rather being put out on social media, right, he is unable to pay the monthly rentals uh, of this particular house. Maybe perhaps he's going through a lot. He also has baby alleged baby mama drama issues. He also has like a like a case which is going to be coming up in Luansha. So maybe he doesn't have like a lot of time to comprehend and think about these things. Maybe now Kazan. What do you think is going on in the brains of uh, Honorable Bowman Musamba at this particular moment? Yeah, once, once again, I personally I find it mystifying. Because look at this. This is the guy first and foremost who is on record as having posted that he has donated millions and millions of questions in his own constituency, right? That came from the horse's mouth, from Bowman himself, all right? Then secondly, Mona, in 2017, this is a guy who was reported as being the third richest minister in Lungu's cabinet, all right? At that point in time, in the year 2017, he was worth 27 million questions. 
Where on earth has he taken this 27 million kwacha? Because in point of fact, if he is, he is an attitude businessman, that money by this time, that that wealth, that level of wealth, by, uh, by this point in time, it should, it should, it should have even multiplied many fold. So where has he taken all this money? Right. Perhaps, perhaps he just, he's got a lot of money, but he just wa doesn't want to release the money because you know what they say, <laughs> like, uh, especially during the, the, uh, well, during the PF era, right? He had a lot of privileges. He had got that privilege and he, he is a self-proclaimed, uh, uh, boot leaker. He said that using his own mouth with, with his own, uh, you know, uh, set of teeth. He said, I am a dignified, bonified boot leaker. So perhaps don't you think he was using his, uh, ministerial position to get, uh, perks such as, you know, cause when it comes to like these rentals, right. According to the statement that we read, uh, it has been an ongoing, uh, type of habit where he wasn't, you know, remaining or rather paying the, the, the rentals. So it, it did it one bit. So it has been obviously propelled or rather it was propelled during the PF rule and he was taking advantage and he was using his position to sort of bulldoze uh no pun intended to sort of uh you know put those his uh way uh out of paying rent but this time around it's a new don so maybe this is one of the reasons why uh, i don't know but it could also be a question of pride right um a question of conceit right i mean right it's a question of being simply being arrogant that who are they? I'm not going to pay them, they can go to hell if they want, right? Because if you look at the case, this 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 case with his um um a fiance or girlfriend or whatever, right? Alleged <laughs> yeah, okay, alleged girlfriend or fiance or whatever, right? She opted to take him to court because under the PF era he was untouchable, right? So she right. couldn't drag, she couldn't take him to court. But right. she decided this time around that she's go, she was going to take him to court. Now, right. what does Bowman do in response? He actually countersues. All right. She didn't sue her. She, she threatened to sue him, but he actually sues her. All right. Now, right. is that sorry, Mona, because the simplest way to solve this matter once and for all is to do a paternity test, a DNA test. Then if he's innocent, all right, he's going to be exonerated. It is as simple as that. So why go to the extent of even go taking the poor lady to the high court, right? Yes. When he even knows that, I mean, she didn't even have the way of widow to hire Emma herself. Exactly. But, sir, uh, Mr. Siley, don't you think uh, Bowman Dusambo has got too much pride? Like, That's what his... I'm about. He, he's he's a type of man who would who wouldn't want uh stories out there circulating saying now I feel I could pay, could he pay rent and yes we understand he's got like uh, a mansion uh he's got uh, a residence as they call them them there that places I'm a residence yes. in Lusaka yes he's yes, he got a residence in Lusaka lots of residence but don't you think that uh Honorable Bowman Lusambo has got too much ego to let such a story go out there especially to the public saying yo but Bowman Lusambo ku never feel could he pay rent yet he's the man who was saying two million kwacha that's why I give my kids to go shopping you know two, how much is two million kwacha if we had to convert that in in dollars roughly I, I think it's more than uh, a, a, a hundred, maybe like 50,000 or, or above. So that's like a lot of money, <laughs> you know. So uh, with regards to his political career, do you think Akashita Kaba Bom and Lusambo Karea Kare Sera? Because he's having like a lot of trouble, a lot of problems. And uh, once he solves one problem, there's another one coming. And the biggest problem that he has is obviously the uh, murder case, uh, which, you know, involves a named person from Luansha and there's like that type of situation. Do you think Honorable Bowman Lusambo's political career is coming to an end? Definitely, too. Whether he likes or not, he's going to come to an end, all right? Because look, Muna, this is a person who has been accused, right, on, mm -hmm. on social media, right, by no lesser a man that, than his own colleague in PF, Ch Ch Chishimba Kambui. Chishimba Kambui is on social media saying, in no uncertain terms, that 
This Boman Musambo is the one who killed, who killed, who hacked to death along with his fellow thugs. A man called, I think it's Boyd, some, 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 Boyd some, something of the kind, right? So he right. has been accused in the public domain, right? And the police have, have, have seen this, this video that has been circulating on the internet since days immemorial, right? right. Okay. right. Now, this was committed murder, and then the police haven't done anything. What are they waiting for, Mona? Right? What on earth are they waiting for? Why haven't he been arrested and charged for the murder of an innocent person? Right. So, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is that his days are numbered. Sooner rather than later, he's going to be in the slum. Believe you me. Definitely, definitely. And uh, he's a very well-connected man because on his Facebook page, uh, he, he actually revealed that uh, he's got relationships and contacts with uh, a lot of police officers, a lot of influential people. So he knows when a move is about to sort of uh, maneuver and there's going to be action to apprehend him. Like prior to him being arrested, he knew beforehand. So this time around, what do you think is the best strategy to clip his wings because clearly he's still got influence. He's still maintained contact and uh, relationships with people. So how can we make sure that as a new Don government, uh, we, we, we empower the police, the SEC officers, the DEC to actually do a thorough uh, investigation whereby uh, people are not really uh, intimidated. And uh, just because somebody is uh, politically affiliated or well-connected, uh, the law is the law. So how so can we how improve efficiency? Yeah, it is simple, Mona. You see, the, the problem is that uh, we still have a lot of PF cadres in the structures of the police. We still have a lot of PF cadres in the structures of the Anti-Corruption Commission, DEC, and so on and so on, right? These people, they were captured by PF, right? They used to be paid. They used to be palm grist. To look the other way when the likes of women were somewhere committing atrocities, all right. In some cases, they were even working in cahoots with the likes of women or somewhere to commit those kind of crimes. You know, when Tishimba was telling us that uh, woman or somewhere is the person responsible for killing that person that we've been talking about, hacking him to death, he was not alone, all right. He was in the company of, uh, I, I think, dozens of facts. Okay, Chishimba said he reported the matter to the police. Personally, Shimba, we went to the police, right? He even produced eight witnesses to testify against against Boman. What happened? The police sat on it. He was attacked. So the police, the people in the ranks of the police are tainted. Right? The only solution, right? is to get rid of them and replace them with a brand new cohort altogether. That's when I'm going to see progress. That's when I'm going to see the likes of women or some arrested. Otherwise, we'll just be going through the motions. That oh, SEC, they are doing that. They, they, are, they are investigating ABC. Look, Amos Mutsu, Amos Mutsu, Amos and this guy, the former president spokesman, who, who was arrested the other day, I don't know if today or yesterday, right? Do you know what he has been charged with? He has been he has been charged for uttering vulgarity, all right? Mm. Uttering insulting language, all right? Trying to right. obstruct. This. And this is a guy who was interviewed for six to seven hours. And that's all they charge him for. What are they doing? What are they, what are they telling us? All right? They interview someone for six to seven hours, and all they charge him is uttering vulgarity. Right? And this is not the police for that matter. It's the Anti-Corruption Commission. Mm. I mean, this is... I can't believe this. It is a complete circus. They are supposed to charge him with crimes that really matter, all right? The things that they found, the cache of evidence, incriminating evidence that they found in the house, that's what they're going to charge him for. Not for the peripherals, whereby he said he for sake and, and so on and so on. And that's what they charge him for. I mean, this is coming. Right, right. 
So uh, when, when talking about Honorable Bowman Lusambo, you know, I know he's going to be watching this. So Honorable Bowman Lusambo, we can always have a conversation here. We'll keep the same energy. And uh, we've been following your case since uh, 2011, since you were in the uh, MMD era. So we're, don't, we're not just, you know, talking here on social media. We're actually cordially inviting you on this part, uh, platform uh, to be part of this conversation because personally I have a lot of questions to ask you and there's a lot of things that I would love uh, to find out from you. So I'm cordially inviting you to be part of the community television station, which is Z Corner here. But besides that, so uh, Mr. Saili, politically <laughs> speak, uh, speaking, right? Honorable Bowman Lusambo is uh, sort of, uh, he's losing his power, his prowess. Soon he's going to be a slasher. You know, he won't be able to like bulldoze. Financially speaking as well, uh, obviously, like the source is minimizing. And you know what they say about money, right? Especially if uh, you don't really have the business accolade to rise up to a certain rank financially, right? Boom! It's very easy to squander that money. So also from a financial perspective, Honorable Bowman Lusambo is obviously not going to be as liquid as he was during the PF era because during the PF era, he could use that maneuver in a certain way and make things happen. But during the new Don government, right, obviously new stars are being, uh, you know, created and yeah, opportunities. So financially, politically, he's being crippled. So, so if you look at these two factors, right, factors, Mm -hmm. Do you think he's going to be able to rebrand himself and uh, survive? He's going to survive. See, unless one of you told me that um, he spirited, he lodged, right? He's touched his wealth in Faith Musonda's mansion, a lazed mansion, all right? So that when the police had a swoop on Faith Musonda's residence, they took out the money. Unless if you told me that he lost his money, his wealth that way, then I'm then I'm going to agree. But a person who I don't know in time in 2017, 2017 is only two, three years ago. Someone was worth 27 million kwacha, right? Somebody who has lodges, mansions in Kavolonga, and so on and so on. There is no way he can just all of a sudden become broke or impecunious or insolvent, right? He still has a lot to tap into. Okay. So I don't think, I mean he's going to, to be to, to become poor. Overnight, no. Look, he used to boast. I've been reading this on the internet. He used to boast that he was driving a Mercedes Benz even before he became a member of parliament. That's what he used to say. He was telling the Zambian media that, all right? Before he became an MP, he was driving a Mercedes Benz. He was saying that he was already a wealthy man before he became a minister. So, where has that work gone to all of a sudden? Where? Right. I don't believe it, Mona. I don't believe it, and I'll never believe it. It must be hidden somewhere. If it is not in the banks, then it is, it is in a mansion somewhere or underground somewhere. Believe you. Right, right, right. So let me just read one of the statements coming through from our viewers. By the way, if you are watching us right now, we are the community TV station Z Corner. And uh, if you really want to be part of this conversation, please join us using the link either on the title or the uh, the, the, the status, the post. There's like uh, a link that you can use to join this conversation. So today we are talking Honorable Boman Lusambo, PF corrupt leaders being arrested because we were told that a lot of different PF uh, party affiliated members have been arrested today. And then we also have a rise in crime in Lusaka. So these are the things that we are going to be talking about. So Mr. Uh, Saili, let me play you one more. Uh, video of uh, Honorable Bowman Lusambo with regards to the 1.8 versus the 2.8. Of course, we're all Zambians and all that stuff. So this is a very uh, revealing story that I want to share with you. Please. So hold on. Let, 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 let me do it one more time. So there we go. Let me grab that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. I would want to justify that. And that before that, uh, before you go to that point, um, you, you did mention that uh, the UND won by fluke. Mm. All right. And uh, some people that are watching me right now, yeah. I'm sure uh, that, they are disagreeing that, that, with, that, that, with me. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, the thing uh, being that uh, the margin was too huge. Uh, 
you know, 1.8 against 2.8. That is not a huge What margin. kind of a, 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 a chance that of flip would be that? That's that not a huge margin. Yeah. 1.8 to 2.8. Yeah. You're talking about a million. It is. It's not huge. We are more than 17 million Zambians. Hmm. More than 17 million Zambians. Can you tell me that 1 million is a huge margin? How? And these are the people that you didn't convince How? yourself. As a ruling Even party. them, they didn't convince them. Right. They didn't convince them. 1 million. What is 1 million? Hmm. We are more than a, uh, 17 million. And you're talking about 1 million. Are you sure, hmm. Mr. Piri? The 1 million is the number, actually, that, uh, that was, the UPND... Uh, uh, surpassed you. Yeah, or it's not a big you number to, to win against you. It's not a big number. It is. Today no, you are how out many, of how many people, how many people? You are in opposition because exactly. of two point eight million. Exactly. Mm. But it's not a huge number, Mr. P. Right. That is not a huge number. Okay. Mm. That is not a huge number. One million mm. against one point eight million. Yeah. But that's not a huge number, Mr. P. Right. It is not. We are more than seventeen million Zambians. Right. And the people who registered to, who uh, 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 registered as voters hmm. for 2021 uh, um, uh, general elections, I can assure you that even that one million is not hmm. huge. It's Why not. did you fail to convince the 2.8 million Zambians? Uh, as we, did, we were not working for 2.8 million Zambians. That we are working I'm for, just trying, as we are working for more than 18 million. Yeah, Zambians. I'm writing on the number so of the that, figure. That, that's the figure. UPND that won against the Pedetic Prime. That not, that, that's just a figure. The now UPND, my question is, the UPND yeah. managed to get 2.8. Yeah. PF managed to get 1.8. Mm -hmm. But all of us, both of us, I mm. mean, the UPND and PM, yeah. <laughs> that is not the number which we expected. Yeah. Okay, mm. even the UPND, they did not expect a 2.8. Mm. Because we govern more than 18 million Zambians. Mm. The people registered, they are more than that. Mm. So if the UPND managed to get a 5 million Zambians mm. who voted for them, I would have said, Yes, this was a, a landslide. Mm. One million? One million to be a landslide, one million? Mm. Let us go back to elections today with the UPND. And you, you think see, we can win? Definitely. Can we lose the UPND? Because all the allies is over. It's finished. It's just two months ago. It when finished. It, we, we are coming from an election. I two can assure you, finished. As we don't lie. We were not even lying. When we are campaigning, President Tedgeta Golung actually told us that we are going to use a PF manifesto for 2021. To All right, you know, I I I, I can't uh, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, I can't really finish like watching the whole clip because you know, to be honest, I I, I just feel like my 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 brain cells are are, are dying just listening to uh, you know Honorable Boman Lusambo getting to watch his full interview you end up you know just hitting the air and uh, you know throwing punches all over so uh my question to you the zambian people and the people watching me right now do you really agree with honorable bomb and luzamba saying one million isn't really a huge margin and uh you know it's something that we can't really get to sort of uh, upload uh, especially the people who participated in the elections because he seems to be downplaying it. But let me also remind you, in 2016, the margin between the UPND and the Patriotic Front was only 100,000 uh, votes, you know, like less than 150,000 votes. But this time around, right, the UPND did in fact beat, uh, beat the Patriotic Front with over a million votes, you know, and... Uh, also getting to consider the fact that uh, uh, the reg re registered number of voters wasn't, of course, 18 million. Because to him, according to Honorable Bowman Lusambo's uh, thinking, he, he thinks all 18 million Zambians were eligible to vote. You know, because the number of registered voters were obviously uh, around 4 million, 5 million, somewhere there. So, of course, getting to compare these numbers uh, with regards to the total number who registered, it's a huge margin and by the way 
uh, president, former Republican president uh, Lungu was projecting to beat the UPND by over 500,000. According to him, uh, he knew the game. He learned how to, you know, maneuver and play these political games. And he was projecting that he would beat the UPND by over 500,000, uh, you know, vote, uh, votes. But this time around, it was vice versa, right? The UPND won by about one million. So this time around, uh, Honorable Bowman Lusambo is downplaying that. Mr. Saidi, what do you think about this this statement again? You know what? To me, you see, uh, it, 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 it gives me the impression that uh, he has never been to school whatsoever, right? Because he should, he should be able to know if he did simple arithmetic or simple statistics, right? That... In elections, right, we talk in terms of proportions. It's in proportion, percentages, right? Mm -hmm. Look, Zambia has a population of about 18 million or so, right? The people who voted, who registered to vote, were 7 million. And out of those 7 million, only about 4.6 million went to vote. Then of those 4.6 million people who voted, 2.8 million voted for Bali and 1.8 million for H for H uh, for for Edgar Lungu. Now, what is that trying to tell us? It's trying to tell us that I mean, the the, <coughs> the H -H victory was sixty percent. Now, what is what what that is simply telling us that if seven million people had voted, all right, all the registered ones, or if all eighteen million people in Zambia had voted. 60% still would have voted for SH, all right? So the statistics are actually a microcosm of what they would have been if everybody else, or other things equal, had voted. Let's just try to have back to the recent history, just a, a, a little bit. In, 20, in 2011, Eddie Galungu beats, beats um, body by how many votes? Only 28,000. In 2015, Eddie Galungu beat HH by how many votes? Only 100,000. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. compare 28,000 or 100,000 to 1 million votes. What is he speaking about? So, what is trying to tell us that the, the victories, uh, the, the, the victories by Ed, uh, Eddie Galungu in 20, 2011 and 2015, they were inconsequential. Yeah. This is a numbers game, all right? Victory is a victory. It's like a football match, all right? Even if you beat your opponent by 1-0, all right? You get the victory. You are the one who's going to be given three points. You are the one who's going to win the cup, all right? It's a numbers game. It doesn't matter by what margin you beat your opponent. As long as you win, you win. You have won. That's it. That's why Bryce exactly. is in the office today, because he won. It doesn't matter whether he beats if we beat Eddie Galungu by one million or two million or even one single vote, the fact of the matter is that he won. That's that's all that matters. So I can't believe that this is coming from a person who belongs with the person who calls himself honorable Lusambo. I mean, I can't believe that. Right, right. Very but childish. We, we, we have to understand this is how uh, Honorable Lusambo always acts. Like whenever you're watching his interviews, I'm telling you, by the end of the interview, you end up pulling your hair. Uh, you know, you would expect like after the loss, he would reflect and say, ah, okay, but how was I conducting myself? How can I improve my delivery? I'm even wondering, does he have like a manager? You know, uh, of course, we know that people who post on his Facebook page, they are doing a phenomenal job, you know, but uh, he, sh he needs to go for speechless zones and just basically improve how he does interviews and the other thing that i want to talk about is uh considering the environment the atmosphere of how the previous elections were conducted you know of course the ground wasn't leveled the UPND weren't able to participate and uh, sort of campaign properly because the Patriotic Front was obviously stepping on their toes. Now, can you imagine what type of victory the UPND could have amassed if the playing field was leveled? Is he considering all those factors as well? Or maybe he's been, merely politicking? It could have been double that. He knows that, right? You see, this is a person who just wants to stay relevant. Right in public discourse is like Sean Tembo, right? You know, 
Tony Temu is very provocative, right? He just spills drivel every now and again so that he can provoke a conversation or a discourse with the masses so that he becomes relevant. You see, that's the, the, the same strategy that Bowman Bo, is trying to use. Okay, He knows that he is incapable of speaking sense. All right? He is incapable of speaking reason. So the only way he can keep, I mean, within the, the, the only he can keep himself embedded in the, in the national psyche is to utter nonsense. Yeah, but so, so, so you're saying that he's doing that on purpose because according to me, I think he believes what he says. He actually believes what he says. You know, he's it's no it's not like really an act or he wants to sort of uh, be controversial for no reason. I really genuinely believe in the deepest of his heart. He actually he actually believes what he says and what he's saying, you know, and uh, according yeah. to him, that's the gospel truth. It's not no. an act. That's like his thoughts, original thoughts. Yeah, but look, but, but look, Mona, all right. there are a lot of people that can bring him into line, all right? You, there's the vice president, Luinda, all right? Then there are all those fellow members of parliament, PF parliamentarians, all right? Who can say, hey, Mr. Bowman or someone, you are going offside. Actually, you're embarrassing us, all right? They can try and rein him in, so to say. Okay. But the problem is that they all fear him. He is Mr. Buddha's of God's sake. Look, Muna, this is the guy who slapped Chishimba Kamwini right on the doorsteps of parliament. All right? All right? All right. All right. All right. Well, at the doorsteps of parliament, I mean, the, the, the television cameras were rolling. Everybody was watching, and he doesn't care an iota. All right? So do you think such a person can be, can be corrected? Nobody mm -hmm. can. They all fear him. Mr. Buddha. I'm, I'm sure even Lungo himself used to fear him. That's right, why I mean, right. he could, a minister, a old minister, he would go into the streets, all right, and start committing, I mean, uh, start behaving like a hooligan when he was a respectable minister. He goes into the streets and starts behaving like a hooligan with PF, PF fans. So, how can you all contain right. a person like that? You can't. Right. And the other thing that I would love to talk about is uh, there were so many times that the journalist who was interviewing Honorable Bowman, Lusambo, you know, Mr. Perry, who was inter interviewing him, he really let uh, Honorable Bowman, Lusambo, go scot free, you know, like a lot of times during that in interview. So I don't know. I, I felt he could have done a better job in terms of cornering Honorable Lusambo because Honoris, Honorable Lusambo is one person who always uh, sort of uh, dodges things. Like you're asking him this, he's bringing out some other points and it just becomes unbearable, you know. So uh, about movie TV, I'm officially saying as uh, Mona from Z Corner Community TV, uh, you know, at least uh, next time ask better questions and make sure you like, uh, you know, pinpoint Honorable Bowman Lusambo because he's always getting uh, away with all the questions that you're asking, you know. So that's now uh, for we you know. I, I feel better after saying that. <laughs> no, let, me, let, me, let, let me say something on that score, Muna, right? Yeah. It's, those of us who grew up under Kaunda, right? We had people on ZNBC who were marvelous interviewers. The late Charles Mando was in a class of his own. Everybody. <laughs> was interviewed by the late Charles Mando, whether it was the minister, even Kenneth Kaunda used to fear Charles Mando, all right? Every time Kenneth Kaunda was interviewed on Z ZNBC, he wanted Charles Mando to be simply a moderator. Mm -hmm. The interviews were conducted by the, 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 the editors-in-chief of the Zambia Daily Mail and the, the Zambia National, the Zambia Information Service, uh, the, the Times of Zambia, and so on and so on, all right? If you were a sloppy interviewee, then war betrayed you when Charles Mando faced you. That that, that is the kind of uh, that, that, that is the kind of caliber of interview interviewers we want, All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming back to our modern journalists, I mean, these are journalists who, who who conduct interviews, right? None of them has impressed me, right? If they want to improve, to pull up their socks, they should watch Hard Talk by Steven Sacker on BBC. 
I think Mona, you do. I mean, since you are a, 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 a very brilliant a young man, I think you, you do watch Steven Saka from time to time. You see, when he yeah. goes to interview with somebody, he prepares 100% so that the person that is interview is, is being interviewed is taken away an hour more than not. That is the kind, that, that is the quality of interview, interviewer that we want in Zambia as well, right? But unfortunately, we don't have that kind of quality of interviewers in Zambia at this point in time. It's a pity, really. Right, right. So anyway, moving on, uh, let's talk about uh, this amazing conversation because at this particular moment, a lot of Zambian youths are actually uh, polarized in terms of uh, who to support especially with regards to upcoming opposition leaders and uh, 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 upcoming or rather strong opposition political parties. So according to everything that has happened in the past few years, do you honestly believe PF has a chance of uh, rebranding and coming back in 2026? And what does it take to be a strong, solid opposition political party? You see, Mona... You see, when I read about um, PF rebranding, repositioning, regrouping, all right, reinventing, and so on and so on, <laughs> I cannot help you know break into eroding laughter. Right? These guys are living in cloudy cuckoo and Muna. You see, they, they don't know they don't know the animal that is a Zambian. You know, we Zambians, once we eject you from power, you will never get back. Look at your name. We ejected them from power in 1991. How, how, can you call me a Mona? How many is it from 1991 to 2021? Look at MMD. Alright? I mean, where are they? Once we eject a particular party from power, that is it. It is done. It will never make a comeback. So PF they are enjoying a bit of uh, a honeymoon period simply because they still have some numbers, some decent numbers in parliament. But come 2026, they'll be dead and buried, just like MMD, just like UNIT. Finito. Finito. Right. Uh, so we've got uh, somebody who's joining us, Mr. Newton, truck driver. How are you doing, sir? Where are you, watch where are you joining us from? Uh, good evening, uh, Mona. Good evening. How are you? And like, how are you? You're good? Yes, I'm okay. How are you? Very good. So, do you think uh, PF is going to rebrand and come back in 2026? What's your take? Wala, wala, Why and in the way they are getting these guys, I don't think so. No more to the but I think some of them need a medical checkup. Especially this woman, some need a medical checkup. Seriously, uh, because I question. Now we like how do you feel like uh, when you're watching an, an interview like a full interview how do you feel after watching him okay uh, uh, that's so I think even I'm feeling Parliament. See, what's the reason? A point to send on the focus and the way So, they should not be a bomb and some people are allowed and if that's a panga thing. Because in Epona, I'm going to be a bomb in 2016. Well, some point I'm going to be a bomb. It's always insulting. No, why this kind of person? So, the papa. 
and uh, sometimes if I'm when I want to much definition because of some ways of learning and all that, uh, you find that I'm uh, definition what I can come because of uh, it is special what I want to learn about money. Yeah, well, I want to come here want to move street like in Gai for forever. We were frustrated, guy. Because we were frustrated, okay? We never to have to. Why am I very frustrated? I'm not a mere truck driver. And yeah, the reason uh, I find that we were very frustrated. Kula wakwa mafari kwa mani posi ya mwiyo tuwarefu ya truck drivers. Ibo mani rusa mwiyo kia mwiyo 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 uh, well, Gashen, Ponisha, Stike, you had an encounter with uh, Honorable Bowman Nusambo. Yeah, we, uh, we called him, uh, called him as a uh, track driver. Uh, we had a, a problem with um, uh, my company that was alone for the Nipa Mita. So, just after I saw uh, a group of people. Kwa kwa tu mtu ni 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 sara tu landi lako. Baada ya senda fiama kadishi kwa watu kila mashindi na kuliwa union ukonda wa nani ba kifu track drivers what what ewe ya pwenye kutoa shara tu kwa na kuchora. Alo nomba ni rwe se mukula ni ati rwe se mukula ni fiti 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 sisi. Apo nomba kwa hisa bantu kwa fiti fiti. Because you pin dia mteri ni the truth I can I can assure you. You can do more than two hours. Go to five senses. I bomba kodi kisho mundu kuyasta operate. Not this last regime. Mule yumbasa. Oh, M kwa i. Awa kila. Kijawa kita mashia ni tani uko mera wakisha kuzi wali wa frustrated. Dimi tukia ira tala. So the kenyi wa bari wa wa pumbi ya kopi ni kafuliyo kumbi. Otherwise, wa konga ni apoi fi ni wale ista. I don't think so. So, boss, uh, majority of our mukabungu are truck drivers, right? So, uh, according to the type of uh, problems that you encounter, and previously you tried to reach out to people like Honorable Bowman, the Samba, right? Uh, do you feel your needs were catered to? Vade mi umfuira nangu wala. Sorry. I'm saying, uh, since you say you you belong to the truck drivers uh, association, and the, uh, you you are, you're obviously well uh, aware with regards to the problems that a lot of truck drivers face in Zambia, and according to the story that you just gave us, right, in the past you uh, had a situation where you needed uh, intervention, uh, where you needed help from you know Honorable Bowman or something. So what exactly happened there and uh, why are you frustrated in, in, in those lines? I just didn't get that part uh, properly. It's breaking me. I think it's breaking. So I'm out with It's breaking. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay, cool. No, no, no problem. Uh, do we have any more people here? Anyway, moving on to the next topic. So let me play something uh, with uh, this involves crime in Lusaka because apparently there's a lot of uh, crime going on, especially in Lusaka and other parts of Zambia. And one of the leading factors to the to the rise in crime is due to the fact that a lot of people were empowered with uh, firearms during the PF era. firearms, but what's happening is they no longer have sources of income. 
and they are resorting uh, to commit crimes, actually organize crimes. And uh, unfortunately, uh, one of our businessmen, prominent businessmen in Zambia, Mr. Good, Good, Goodward Mulumba, was uh, sort of, uh, he had an encounter with these uh, armed criminals and he was shot 22 times. Unfortunately, he was able to survive. So my question to you is, uh, do you think we can do something as a nation to curb the rise in criminal activities? But before we answer this question, let me play a video because so as you can get the, uh, you know, where this story is coming from. So let me just play this video right now, and then we'll have a discussion a little bit uh, later after the video. So here we go. Face 2021 from Mulombwa and his family in this serene and plush neighborhood of Kabolonga in Lusaka. Police received a report of aggravated robbery at the house of the victim, house number 61 Twin Palm Road, Kabolonga. According to police spokesperson Ray Amonga, the victim sustained 10 gunshot wounds on the left shoulder, a cut on the right forefinger, two cuts on the back of the head, seven gunshot wounds on the left side of the face, and five gunshot wounds on the right arm. Last night, around 23 hours, the owner of this house, a good word, Mulombwa, of house number 61 was actually shot uh, several times. This is according to police uh, a public relations uh, manager, uh, Mr. Ray Amonga. Now, um, the people in this house have told us that is actually doing well. They haven't told us which hospital, uh, private hospital is actually admitted into. They've told us to come in the afternoon and speak to his wife. Probably she might give us an update on how he's really doing. But according to police, uh, yesterday around 23 hours, five armed criminals with two pistols and one AK-47 actually shot the businessman, uh, Mr. M uh, uh, Mulumbwa, yesterday. And our efforts to find out how he is really doing uh, has been refused. We've been only been told that he's doing much, much better. We hope and pray that he recovers. Tito Kalama for S24. All right, so there you have it. So there is a rise uh, in crime with regards to uh our nation and everything that has been happening and uh there has been speculations uh uh and this is obviously due to the fact that uh, during the patriotic front era uh they had to empower their cadres nama fire weapons i'm a fire arms and all that stuff so what's happening now these firearms unregistered illegally obtained and uh, not documented, they are in the wrong hands. And we are obviously experiencing a rise in crime in Lusaka, especially Kuma Chala, Laoku, Kuma Kabulonga, and a lot of things. Because recently there was a gunshot uh, sort of uh, battle, like Kuji Greens. Uh, for those of you who stay Kuma Chala, I'm sure you heard about that. So people are actually notorious in Lusaka, whereby they're even having, you know, gunshot fights. So my question uh, to you, my panelists, is uh, why do you think all of a sudden we are having an increase in criminality and what can we do to prevent this from happening? How should the police and all the respective bodies maneuver to you know, put a curb to this escalating situation? So, uh, Mr. Siley, you can go first. Uh, okay, let, let me just come in here. Yeah, you see, um, the one thing that I can't understand is um, why the police haven't taken uh, stock of the the armaments that they have, they had in 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 in, 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 their, in, in their whatever in their armories or in their arsenals or whatever they call them, right? <laughs> into a rogue state. That's what they did. They armed every Jim and Jack, Mary and Sharon, who was a PF cadre, right? Now, these are the consequences of their recklessness. This is the point, okay? Now, those arms, the guns, the pistols, the AK-47, they must have come from the same 
government governments from the can they take can they that they found out how many have been missing all right so that if a certain number has been missing then they put in place strategies to try and find out where they are that's what that's what i can understand right right uh mr newton what's your contribution with regards to the question that i asked hello Van Newton, open with it. Van Newton, now, but I'll have to check it out. All right, okay. Maybe so let, let, yeah, okay. Let me let me kick him out. Uh, let's uh, Kabushi graduate. Welcome to the program. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing, sir? Lovely. So you you actually come from the area where Honorable Bowman Lusambo uh, is from. So he's presiding over you people. You voted for him. Yeah, in Kavushi as we speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in Kavushi, actually in uh, Skyward's ward in particular. So how do you feel about your MP? I Do you feel you are well represented? Not at all. Not at all. You know, uh, looking about uh, the budget, which actually the, the new Don presented, it was very much... Uh, promising of which we are yet to see uh, most of its fulfillment. But uh, looking on our MP, which is uh, Mr. Bowman Lusambo, there are some of uh, the words which he used uh, to say no one can uh, actually uh, uh, use that money which uh, actually the government proposed. Or maybe rather, should I say, the time Maryland that uh, we are given actually 1.6 so this uh, uh hello are you getting me yeah but it's just breaking but you can go on okay so uh actually cdf it was actually tired enough and we have seen how mr bowman Nusambo was actually throwing out money which was not even uh present enough because for, for an MP, the way I know things, the government which was uh, actually previously, which is uh, the PF government, we have seen so much corrupt uh, activities, not so in Kabushi in particular, but we have seen uh, uh, other ministers, you see, the squandering of public funds. So uh, when you look in uh, Kabushi in particular, there are so much work that is needed to be done. So I feel for me, on my own perspective, uh, Mr. Busambo is not presenting us very well because uh, if, uh, if, he's if he's actually presenting us very well, we could have seen development in Kabushi. Now, can I ask uh, anyone who's uh, watching this live broadcast, where is the, the development? Where has it reached? Because uh, we have had dilapidated roads in uh, Kabushi constituency. But here comes an MP of your start setting that's uh the the man is too it's actually too enough eh, for a for, for for a given constituents i don't know the thing about it the government are quoting in the ramenga shy because uh, you see empowerment is the way that's cdf it's very much uh true and promising i want to have some people people they require my buzzer is the idea so in a mukchimona kwanzi kwati ba boma ni kuru bari rwanzi tabale to start present of a fire to start present M -Kwai. So, bosses, you are calling yourself as a Kavushi graduate. So, uh, in, in order for you to like uh, call yourself a, a Kavushi graduate, right? Are you a dis disgruntled <laughs> member of uh, Kavushi? <laughs> Using the words <laughs> of Bob and Lusambo. Yeah. What do you want to tell us? Let it all out. This is your platform, Community TV. As a graduate, by the way, do you have a job as a graduate? No, I don't. I just uh, own uh, a business. I just do my own business stuffs. And you see, when uh, we actually say Kabushi graduates, you see, I think we have to understand the way it is. Uh, we have political parties that we love. Like for me, I may say I voted for this person, but the person who won was this one. 
So now what we want is we want to offer checks and balances. If we test to run that one, so to the one to have a bulldozer away. Mamona, and when you start asking, which you're in a development, yeah, you muka wish constituency, you're in a yam with a pesa, yap with a pesa. What are some of the works? You know, because you see, we see how Mr. Rusambo used to throw out money. But you see, the other government, yeah, because they're going to watch the question because very kataban. Mamonaka. So mm. as for my youths, about Fide Twaikara Muka Wush, I think that's not the way people they should uh, they, they they should be enjoying the resources of the government. You see that when you go out to Kuchita or you are fighting for a buzzard, you suppose at least to pay something. This is what used to happen. So you find that a lot of people they have gone to school, but they have none or little to say to the government. For them just to be given a buzzard, you find that no, to arakupera kofe 40%. Oh, to a rock of a 20 percent, so that's why this CDF it's very much promising because meaning that buzzer you can have money in a CDF. So, Mukabush, I think this is what I've been telling people it's better to a panga feka parliament, fiaka, whoever attack my youth, whereby we are start uh, we are start uh, voicing out. That's how you see these constituents as uh being developed, but as for now, in Kabush in particular, because also Kabush has got some words so now uh, we have to understand which word first got the development in the previous regime that's when now we will we'll sit down and start the body no cash so corruption that's why the people they didn't vote out because our way we tell one better no there are some elements here in grass i want to women numbers mm -hmm. and so that they could change the government so uh, Ushi, in a part one the ah okay development stage ticket son and now it's about Ushi and the I am and the I say I am so scared and and they are going to try to move with that the bang. Hello, my breaking. Uh, okay, I think he'll be popping back up. It seems uh, the Honorable Boy is uh, <laughs> working hand in hand in Abazikta. <laughs> Kabushi member, or rather Kabushi graduate is being hacked right now, but he'll be back. So according to his uh, statements, he's saying he's not really that satisfied with regards to the development in the Kabushi constituency. And granted, Kabushi constituency has got like several words. So uh, he's trying to advocate for more... Uh, sort of, um, uh, what do you call this, accountability with regards to where the funds went last time and how everything was done. So this is something that we definitely need. And as Z Corner, we are the community TV station. So Kabushi graduate, welcome back. The other question that I have for you is, you as a Kabushi uh, resident, how would you rate Honorable Boman Nusambo? Is he that popular in Kabushi? Uh, hello, uh, are you there? Can you kind can you kindly repeat the question? Uh, it's actually breaking, so I'm unable to get some of uh, the, the the things which you're asking. All right, yeah, I was saying since you are uh, a resident of Kabushi, and uh, Honorable Bowman Lusambo is uh, your MP, your member of Parliament. So, how would you rate his performance previously and currently? All right, it seems uh, he's having network uh, problems. And uh, all my participants right now have actually gone. So let me see if I can get Newton back. Van Newton, my way up. Hey, now I'm in trouble. Now, Mr. Newton, are you from Kabushi as well, Mr. Newton? I'm from Kabushi, yes. Ah, yeah. Can you learn another Kabushi? So, tell us. How's been Honorable Bowman Lusambo's performance in Kabushi previously and currently? Uh, the first point I say is because when you come to Kabushi, I think for sure, um, like uh, like I say, when you are driving uh, or oh, those are those are comfortable cars, Benz, what what. You can't drive it. Mama roads yawa kab yawa bomani usamu. Me that si yawa bomani usamu muka bushi. Kwa ina kufanya kwa 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 kwa
us, just from here where I am, to Lubu to support, or from Lubu to Masara to support, or from Masara to Kwad to support. So I'm a kind of boy, bulldozer, 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 tight. And you know, as youths in Zambia to truly return, uh, we are blind because of someone who at Sinavaso, Mamanaga. Mm. When someone gives you a 20 quarter, 30 quarter, and I'm like, I'll say, 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 and you reason your question at the same time you answer your question abumbawalaya out you know you have to convince the one to know who they are you have to convince you have to convince you have to convince why this person is convincing me okay about the woman in the sambo the body line that you know this is the way to share one dollar what's your shava nangu shava Narikwata kutoka doubt wa mdara nga wafi aishi na mfi awe nituwa ufa wana nga wawo nga wafi aishi. Kwa zu mfi aishi, ufi yore isha reason. And to make them as ways. Mabo Manusambo is a public figure. So, nga tuwa wale kele la wambo kushitisi rija wa ntu. I think, mwere ni kwa? Eh, tere mi mfa, isene kofe mpe pina ka maiki, mwere apa tani sana. Ah, uh, masana na chuo. Bomo ni sambo. Tuo wa rekiri ya wambo kusha misuridi ya bantu like the way is misreading people here in Kabushi. Nista pa na mfumo fikarash. Even a development kama na kwa chuo H H nista pa ni chuo rekiri ya because of one person. And ina chingo chuo na pata mla hivi yani. Muntu kuanguka ida kuchingi cha public. Even a coin, okay? Ah, uh, like papa ni nasha na mi amu track driver. We are sending the all the way from Namibia, South Africa, everywhere. Mama, to are the Papa border to are the to are taxi. What, 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 what? And the tax to the Muntu are the Piraya. Muntu are the all the way from South Africa. I don't know, Muntu is calling. Is the taxi or the Piraya? I say, I send, I send that photo. No, we are not going to send that. That is two million quarter. We are going to go to the church. 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 What is the million? Okay. Tom for a new talk. All right. Okay. So, now, Dr. Asana, a new talk. Thanks a lot for participating in this program. Of course, we are looking forward to talking to you one more time. Uh... Terrible feedback coming through. So, Kabushi graduate, eh, So, uh, did you hear my question with regards to the uh, the the general mood of uh, Kabushi residents? Like, how would you rate Honorable Bom and Lusambo's work previously and currently? And uh, are you satisfied with him as your MP? Uh, actually, like I said. First, I said uh, people, they have different uh, political parties of their choices. So as for me, I may say, Shumutemo ne Boman, because ofo wabo mbele ne shafi mwona po na ngufimo. Tapa wapo wama skuzi ya kwa tiyo wa Boman, ito wale mwona febo aisa fila fila wafo le shanko tumabunga, sala zifu lao, tukoko filia, you see? So for me, I think wa Boman usambo previously, tapa wabo mbele okufikapo. Because when you see to uh, when you sing a moingram, I'm a roads fee kaye cafe. They are not uh they are now if you have to understand what the definition of a bulldozer is. So in a part one zine shamuna pu never bulldoze no for bumba. Comenga by sabanjaba so my chinadi womba kwe fia so if ya so then I need another chat number emissive because you see. When you are working with an MP, first, for the first, we have to start question ourselves. What are the roles of an MP? Mamona, error constitution, because these people, they are very clever. 
Matsvara filo okura leta na we cafe filia nko ko na tuma parks we filia sha in filia. Matsvara leta junta e problem. Oyo ba leta. So it could have been better filia fine ba re pose ndarama. Ba kura ko tuma toilet we filia ama brush on blocks ba panga so that is able to point at nena bomba pa. Cuz nangunya ina ma cooperative za ina muka muka bush constituents ni yanga ma cooperative how many people have benefited ma cooperative so ina pa conclusion yo nyingaranda yakwe but previous nisha mwene pofo ba bombere apaka twishinga na ba kwata ma court case nga chili poshani cuz tabare isa kona ku bush so previous rated ndanda tsvali bombao because mwarabi kama pevers mu kuku area kumbi kukumbi mwasha Definitely, but I'm a youth, but I'm not going to be able to do That's why today, Sangati, I'm a pipe shower cancel. I'm a pipe shower cancel. But I'm a mama naka. Not only that, I'm a cable. I'm a youth. 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 I'm a For proper recommendation. That's why I'm a youth. 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 I'm so you find that muma yonza vya ma road zinga wapita mo muka wush. Tamu wa road di tundu. Let's talk over chilengwa road di. Ya ya fuma pa skuru pa chilengwa. Fuka pa ma, pa ma sara clinic. Ya ni mba uka road. Ili ni nono na muene po fioro ba gre dire mo efin. So tatuishi wenga ni nyu doni ya wa pumik shati. Wa chite fi dia. Na nguni ya pa pene wa sara puka tufile tuwa womba. So ah. Ina kuli now I'm not happy. Even for the other people. Because you can see. Some of the things in in the parliament, in the previous parliament, shadow I'm going to put a bomb on you, Kuranda. In the area of Swadi, in the ma 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 nanka na ma parliament, siya. But in Shamu Tara, I'm going to put a bomb on you. Now, when I'm in parliament, so me a pape ne ba mbiro kula shita kritisa. Kachina ku shita kritisa izi nga ba de shita offer checks and balances izi shishi we win or win. Now, but my question is. Uh, Imwe, why can't you reorganize yourselves as ama youths kuma kabushi na mkwata community tv z kona fia nwf this is yours you already have my contact address and how to you know contact us uh, to organize more even you talk about the things you even show what's going on in kabushi and you show these things you need to organize yourselves especially as residents of kabushi and uh, you know have like a very good movement you know because a lot of people so, watch um, us so just get in contact with Z Corner and uh, do what you have to do. Mobilize yourselves as, as youths and get more clout. Have you? Never finish. That's why I've said uh, it could have been better if uh, we as the youths across the, uh, the country, we sit down so that we start hearing our views. In Kabush constituency, we make a group of 10. Not those that are near to Bom and Nusambo. Those that they feel he hasn't done anything because these are the people that will be offered in checks and balances in this community. So even if that CDF is being released, because we see CDF in Gayaf Makwara, but Kashivanzi, maybe someone who's not in that particular constituency, these are the people that will start benefiting. So those are the things that we don't want. That CDF which is supposed to benefit every member of kabush constituency it is very important that even these people that are watching us right now they're supposed to start monitoring those people that live in that uh, particular area because each constituency has got a word so those what they must start being uh, uh useful to the people because you cannot give a grant or a buzzer from someone who's not in Kabush constituency, maybe it's from Buanam Kubo, should I send Dora Central? Then he comes to get a buzzer in Kabush constituency. But I, uh, but I, but I think these things used to happen. You see? Mm -hmm. Because party quality at party, oh, you are much panini, you PND, you PF, we are just one. Let us start yeah. working together. The time is now. No one will come from America to start cleaning these societies. That's why I think... Uh, Lack of employment, it also contributes. It's also one uh, contributing factor. You see, uh, these guys, uh, we are supplied with uh, weapons, just like we have uh, just like we have heard and read on these social medias. But what are the police doing? I think I could advise the police to go around and uh, actually uh, start searching these guys' homes. Uh, even if they can search for Seth Musonda, even the, 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 the other people, they have money and other offensive weapons. That's why we'll start uh, seeing uh, these attacks because the cadres, those cadres that were radical, 
they are now being uh, reckless and they don't they don't even have a place where to get that money they are just being uh, sponsored for beating people that's where i see now no it's because one the constitution it was not uh it was not presented well or rather it was not preached well it could have rather Bapangako constitution so that by bika in all languages, not finger why kotoko waya um fat constitution, iranda so lo ira. No, 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 no. Eye if I kawai bika monse for those who understand English, let it be in English. For those who understand Bemba, let it be in Bemba. I think these are the things that we need to put uh, to put much in place for us to develop these communities. But once if we just sit down and just hold our hands, nothing will happen. We start to we're supposed to start uh, making these uh, platforms very usable so that once we find that ah a paro jabawa miokabushu, we screenshot mm. if you but so you a marikwata, 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 a WhatsApp group, you can actually add us. Then we'll be trying to give you those stories. Once we identify, we also we also interrogate, not only interrogate, we find out, we come up uh, with those are uh, strong evidence, then we post it to that corner. It will be very much easier and better. Yeah, th th this is something that I I am a proponent uh, proponent of, and I really really agree with you one hundred percent. By the way, what's your what's your real name? Like, why am I using Kabushi graduate? What's your real name? Okay, okay, first name. First, that is Paul. Paul. All right. So, Paul, this is what we can do. You know, we need to work together, especially as I'm a youth. I'm a boom. So you've got Intel and you've got a lot of different things that you want to do to improve your community. So we need to take initiative as youths. We need to position ourselves uh, to get these uh, motions moving. You know, so you are talking about CDF fund uh, and all that stuff. So what you need to do, Iwe Naba Nove. You're already affiliated to Z Corner Community TV. You can always contact me saying, I ah, never couple should graduate. I was here and all that stuff. So what you need to do is you need to create a cooperative with your friends. I'm a youth see about Mukabushi, create a group and uh, you know organize yourselves so that you can go and lobby Kudiba uh bomb and Lusama because I believe Kutiba Amiumfuida still he can still work with you guys. We just need to be organize ourselves and be able to execute because I'm a youth mukabushi ngatamudi ready. If you're not ready, I'm a chance to So you need to show these people that ah, we are Zama youth, if we, we are ready and we are prepared. We've got the initiative. We are ready. So are you already forming uh, your cooperatives? Zama businesses now, uh, Mukwata. How's that going? That one it's actually going fine. Uh, people they have registered for the co for the cooperative just here, just like you have said. But we are saying the previous government, now if you are a government, Mama na UPND. So mm -hmm. that's why uh, if we, I'm not very much to in attacking Boma Nusambo, but I'm just saying the truth according to what I have witnessed, because I've grew here in the Kakabush constituents. So then they are according to for now on I think that one but could have to criticize. It's not only about Boma Nusambo, even those MP, it can be whether PF or UPND or any other political party. To fill the two eyes by youth, so that to appear by the checks and balances. Oh, appear with a warmish. Oh, appear that if we must want to have quite a many cages, that way I think we will develop our constituency. So it's not only Boma and Nusambwa. There are even some. There are even some other MP, huh? Or even some other constituents that are suffering the same. Now by youth, see. Yeah, but why did they move to Obuaro? Mama Naka, ah, to Jiri Jiri Shan whatsoever. So they are they are unable to think on their own. Come after fi neva isa, Baba for a short time. So these are the things that we're supposed to start fighting. And you guys have brought up uh, a very good platform whereby whereby anyone can actually express or air out uh, their views or grievances. And this is very much important. I really appreciate. M Kwaye. So e perafi apa po. What we just need to do is we need to show them that we are ready for these, uh, you know, roles and we are anxiously waiting as youths. But what used to happen is, for them, for them, for them, you know, just 
waiting to have like a miracle saying, you know, this member of parliament is going to remember us. No, he's not going to remember you if you're not vocal. You need to put yourself out there. This is one of the reasons why we created this community TV station for the youths. I'm actually a youth. Not say, but I'm a youth. I have a Abu I in the 49 at New Youth. Me, I'm actually a youth. And uh, this thing, we created it for us so that we can organize ourselves. Grab your people, organize yourselves. If you've got a case or you've got any topics to talk about, come to Z Corner. We'll give you that platform. Be ready so, uh and... Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this is what I want to ask you. Have you created uh, a group, or well, maybe like for Z Corner, maybe it's supposed to have some uh, representative in these uh, actually constituencies, so that once we discuss, someone sh should able to call you guys. Oh, this is what uh, we have come up with. Then I don't know how you do it, cause I've just uh, I've just been featured on this program for today. So I don't know. Maybe if I'll have the the the, the chance, the next time we'll come, I don't know. Or maybe it's I've a created a WhatsApp or a WhatsApp group where it's a, we can it's be a interacting. The big part of our inbox. Just inbox me after this video saying, ah, I participated in this. I'm really loving the conversation that we're having. And I love your spirit, your energy. And I really believe you can do a lot of things in Kabushi. Just send me an inbox. But Facebook, send me an inbox. I'll, I'll, I'll give you all the relevant information. Now, I'm going to say, Z Corner, Achaya Fiance. Z Corner, not Panga Chis TV station. Z Corner, are they Panga for my mic? Are they Panga for my lighting? Fiance, you want me to do everything. So that's why we need people like you. We've already come up with this initiative where the people of Zambia, you've got a community TV station. And anybody can come to Z Corner, do their thing. But we can't do everything. You know, so that's why we need to work with individual use. Up so up now, I know I've got a contact. If I want to do anything in Kabushi, I can always give you like a ring and we can do stuff. You understand? So what you need to do, you, since you represent Kabushi, organize and mobilize the use. Tell them, look, guys, not quite a platform. If we need to do anything, let's, you know, put it on paper. Let's form a company, a cooperative. Let's make noise. That's how you do it, you know. So it, it, Zekona can do everything, you know. Already soon balance suing and nobody. So if Zekona gets sued, what's going to happen to everybody else? So if anybody wants to, you know, get the help with regards to your constituency, just inbox us on Z Corner. We'll be able to provide this platform, and, and we're always looking forward to having these discussions with you. So my point about Paul. So after this okay. conversation is over, send me an <laughs> inbox saying, ah, the big never Paul, we had this conversation. Let's get in touch. Let's, you know, set uh, Kabushi on fire and let's keep this fire blazing, you know? Okay. No problem. All right. Okay, but, 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 Paul, what, what are your last remarks? We need to conclude this thing with uh, Mr. Benson. So what are your last remarks before we, we let you go? I think uh, my last remarks, uh, I would just say uh, Boma Nusambo should start working with the people for Kawush. I know he has been petitioned, so that we should petition you for Yala, whether you win or he will lose. But whether, whether, the, whether whatever it will happen, he's supposed to understand. He's always a leader. Because uh, MUP ni leader wa wonze. So apata fui daba kupo litsko kwa kweba tawe komene nkala afwa feba PF. No, even by UPNZ. They are also your people because they are in your constituency. Not filofo tuwari monefi ya kweba tawe. Uyuni PF, uyuni UPNZ, uyuta adieko. So filata tulefua, tulefua fetubo mbele chapamu. Kwa zinga tule isara, icharota cha epantan. Shukara batu, uyari ili keke ikuru. So bonse sentu mwana tituwa kwata iko shea. Orondera nda na bonse ba kabush constituency. Mufuide musara puke. Not fie nsada awe. Not fie nsada awe. Kusara puka mwamu na bushe popo ture vika po. Fika tuchita benefiti. Bushaba nopo ture kwata. Wakesa mkuchita mo benefiti. That's what I could say na totera mkwai. Awe, tuwa totera sana ba po. So, epa shiri pa kuleka. As ba kabushi, you are a representative as far as Z Kone is concerned. Get in touch with us. Send me an inbox. I'll... I'll add you to the WhatsApp groups and all, all those good things. So thank you very much for adding your, your tungwe to this conversation. Thank you to Atoterasana. Have a good night. All right. So uh, Mr. Saili, Opomodi, <laughs> you can hear us, sir. How are you? Hello? Mr. Saili, can you hear us? 
All right. It looks like uh, Mr. Siley is sleeping. I don't know whether he can hear me or not. So anyway, uh, let me just conclude this. So basically, uh, that's all I had for you today. Uh, it's been a rough day. Yeah. Besides, if my social media, we've actually got uh, things that we're doing. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to, like, uh, talk to you, my people, because we are the community TV station uh, owned by the youths, funded by the youths, represented by the youths, fiance my youths, you know. So uh, it's always very important to always uh, touch base. And uh, there's a lot of things that we need to rectify, especially as Ama youths, especially as, uh, uh, as citizens and uh, as uh you know, people who were born and are part of uh, our lovely Zambian community, we need to do a lot. And just like I keep on telling you, right, the main reason why we created this platform is for you so that you can have therapeutic sessions. You can talk about things. So today we did talk to Amakovu Kavushi residents and they were giving us the actual information with regards to the area that is being presided over by Honorable Bowman Musambo. So this is what we need. We need the youths to be very vigilant. We need the youths to take active roles. And we need the people out there, especially our MPs, to understand that the youths understand what is going on. And the youths are also ready to do what they have to do to make the communities better. So my plea to a lot of Zambian youths out there is get organized, okay? Form a company, a cooperative, whatever. Make sure you are ready to take the mantle of leadership because uh, just like uh, for Balanda, right? Imiti kula empang. Okay, not fika pada pa eja kwebati. We need to get the ball from these people and we need to take over. But if we are not really putting ourselves in lines of succession, they're going to give their relatives. There's going to be nepotism. Uh, nepotism here. There's going to be. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're basically going to miss these opportunities. So as youths, we're not asking. We're not going to be here to ask for Bom and Lusamba to give us opportunities. We're going to take them. You know, we've got a lot of testosterone, more, tester, more testosterone than horrible Bom and Lusambo and any other MP out there. We've got the prowess and we are eager to improve our communities, our country and our nation. So one thing that the 2021 elections uh, showed us is the youths are eager to play. And this is what we're going to do precisely. We're not going to ask, we're going to take, you know? So it's either you're with us, you listen to us, or we come into your position and we take your thing, you know? So this is one of the reasons why I want all the constituencies out there Get uh, mobilize yourselves, be organized. Let's do this together. Otherwise, if you're going to be timid, we're not going to do anything. Nothing ever comes easy, <laughs> and nothing ever comes to people who are just sitting and just watching the world go by. You understand? So, to all the youths out there, this platform is for the youths, by the youths, created by the youths, being represented by the youths. And we need to do what we need to do to improve our communities. So to all the MPs out there, you are no longer going to be able to avoid us or to silence us. We can actually do things, powerful things. We can organize ourselves, mobilize ourselves. And in this elections, or rather during the, the past previous elections, right, we told you how powerful our voices are. So include us. If you do not include us, it's going to be disastrous for you. So I'm not really going to say much. Organize yourselves. Send me an, in uh, an inbox. Send me an email, a message. You, you already know my contact details. Muna at zcorner.com. That's my email. If you represent any constituency, because right now the CDF is a very powerful thing. You already saw how uh, powerful the CDF is and how large the funds are. Uh, are with regards to the allocations into different constituencies. So, you won't see that CDF. And of course, you need like a little bit of uh, uh, help from the uh, government in order to, for, you, for, for your businesses to be propelled to the next level. But this is not really going to happen if you're not organized. So form cooperatives, uh, create companies, and be able to add value to your community. This is your community television station. 
and uh, we are here to amplify your voices. I go by the name of Muna, aka the unofficial Tunga, and we are Z Corner. Z Corner is a collection of Zambian youths, Zambian citizens, Zambian voices. We are a community television station created by you, uh, and we are here to serve you. So this is all we had for you today. Thank you very much for all the people who shared this video, this episode. Please, if you are watching me right now, I know there's a lot of you who are watching me. So kindly amplify our voice because we are here to serve you. Share this video right now. It's only going to take you one second. Post it on your timeline and post it in five different Facebook pages. This is the only way we are going to be able to have a big enough voice to represent you because tomorrow you might need this particular platform. Oh, a platform, yeah, one sefi, yeah, one sefi, yeah, my youths, this is yours. So let it grow, share, share, share right now. And we're obviously going to continue this conversation uh, probably some other time tomorrow, most likely. And uh, you guys have a blessed night. Thank you very much and God, and God bless you.